What it do guys, welcome to Space JP TV. I am your host Space JP, AKA the Astronaut, and I wanna thank you guys for tuning in to my second reaction video uh, to E3's 2019, one of their game trailers. This one here, we're doing Ghostwire Tokyo. I've heard only a little bit about this game. I wanted to go in as blind as possible. I didn't wanna to get too much information. I do know the studio behind it, but Bethesda, they're responsible for Skyrim and Fallout, and the team Tango Gameworks is behind Evil Within and the Evil Within 2. I really enjoyed the Evil Within 1. I played Evil Within 2 as well. I didn't like it as much as I liked Evil Within 1. Not saying that that was a horrible game or that it was a bad game. It's just Evil Within 1 uh, was my absolute favorite. So, so far, guys, uh, thank you guys again for coming back. I appreciate it. If it's your first time being here, welcome. And uh, if you guys uh, like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. You can go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay in tune and know anytime I do anything on YouTube and you guys don't miss a beat. And we can keep this community growing and the spaceship flowing, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get I see you, Johnny Cage. I see you coming down them stairs in Tokyo, brother. You ain't fooling nobody. From MK11, not you in Tokyo, I'm watching you. You sip that cup of joe. You get on about your business. But on a real note, look at these NPCs. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be in-game footage at all or whatever it's going to be, but, you know, with how well these NPCs look, I'm loving the details. Everybody in here has an expression on their face. Um, it seems like some of these folks have a thought, if that makes sense. Like, it's not just bland faces or, you know, cookie-cutter style faces. These people actually really paid attention to the detail when it came to each person. And I even love the lighting from the top of the stairs all the way down to the bottom with the reflections and... I mean, just light to gray, just, it looks really good so far. I'm digging it. I don't know why, anytime I see like umbrellas and rain and stuff like that when it comes to Tokyo, I automatically think of Resident Evil. I might be the only person, it might be a few of you other out there who think the same way, but just that shot right there specifically reminded me a lot of Resident Evil. goodness yo people disappeared that's like some war of the world shit right there people disappearing and leaving their clothes behind just evaporating i'm surprised i don't see dust coming out old dude's sleeve but look at the guy with the bag though look at the guy with the bag he's like what the hell who is the what's a no it can't be the gucci store is closed i'm just kidding he probably worried about people disappearing <laughs> Oh shit, he ain't gotta worry no more. They took them too. Damn, they took everybody. Nobody surviving that. Oh, I lied. Hey, there's a guy over there. If you look to the right corner or the right top of the screen, there's a gentleman up there with his, he's looking over. But back to the detail of this game. This shot right here specifically. The shoe, the escalator, the down shot, even across with like playing on the reflections just from the mirrored sides going down the escalator. The detail with the lighting and everything that they did with this game, it looks amazing. And, I, and I've had an Atari. I've had a Sega. I've had a Nintendo, Nintendo 64. I've had a Dreamcast, believe it or not. I believe that was the first Xbox, but that's just my opinion. And, you know, the Sega, you know, like the Sega Saturn, PS1, all that. Other stuff. I've had these game systems, so I've seen the transition and the evolution of how games looked on screen to what they look like now. Even when it came to their... Um, their uh, like cut scenes and things like that. Like just the amount of detail, the way things look now, unbelievable. I feel like I'm looking at a movie right now. You know, hold up now. Hold up now. Okay, so I don't know what the hell just happened in the background, but uh, Buddy back there made old dude evaporate. So, and he was like, I got you or something like that. First off, Playboy, if that's your idea of how you gonna get somebody, you might as well leave me the hell alone because I'm not with that program, bro. I just bought this outfit. 
You ain't gonna sit there and make me vanish. And you know, I got a date coming up. She's been waiting on me. I'm running about two minutes late. But guess what? She digs me, man. And now you just mess it up. Fool's got long fingers, and I mean, it, it, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it feels more like an action adventure game. I don't think it's. I don't see more of a, a horror element to it, just because the same team was behind Evil Within. But I'm, I'm thinking more of an action adventure game. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look that up. QN Hawkeye, A.K.A. Ronin. if that's Bethesda or if that's the Tango Gameworks doing but ever since the Evil Within they've done a great job when it comes to these transitions in their trailers with using one material shot and having that shot go through something in its own world like in that one it decayed and I mean the leaves fell or and then they just like flowed down and then they use a they I mean they do a great job of pulling that image and doing everything that they can with that image and fluidly transitioning that into a whole nother material and using that for the next shot. I dig that. They pulled the color out of the flower. They made the, the, the petals wither away and then they made some just really flop and just fall over. And as they fell over, transition right into a fluid sleeve of a garment. And then that carried on with not just the, 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 the way the material flowed, but also the color that the material took on afterwards for the next shot absolutely amazing i can dig that i wish movies in a way could be shot that in that same style but i you know realistically probably not right now okay so i'm seeing some bodies floating up in the air in the background i don't know what that's going to pertain to again i'm not i'm not really getting too scared of this trailer i'm kind of getting a sense of mystery you know what I mean? So I'm really getting that sort of mystery with the colors and this absence of much dialogue. I'm really getting a sense of like mystery. Like you got to kind of adventure in and see what's really going on. But this shot in particular, I'm digging because that right there reminds me of Tokyo Ghoul. I don't know if any of you guys watch the anime, but Tokyo Ghoul, they, everybody had, they, they had to get these masks made for them. And that mask right there is specifically like something somebody would pick from that, from that show it, with the, with the ink or blood or whatever that is coming down the eye socket and the half cut horn. It looks amazing. That just, it, it, the contrast, man, this gray and blue and this, I mean, it's, it looks great. It looks great. <laughs> Fear the unknown. Attack it. I like it so far. I'm gonna call it a horror game right now. I don't think it's gonna be a horror game. I can see it more as an action adventure game. But again, I tried to go in here as blind as possible. I didn't want too much uh, research on the game or too much knowledge about the trailer or um, too much information. That way I can go in here as blind as possible, but I'm definitely gonna do some more research now that I've done my reaction. Let me know what you guys think about the game. Do you guys think it's gonna be more of a horror game or if you already know if it's gonna be an action adventure game? And then let me know. I also would love to know uh, what you guys think about Evil Within 2, if Evil Within 1 or Evil Within 2 is your favorite. So again, if this is your first time tuning in to one of my channels, guys, thank you so much for being here. They're absolutely amazing. My heart goes out to each and every one of you guys. This is Space JB TV. I'm the host, Space JB. And again, you can call me the astronaut. I love you guys. And until next time,